my lovelies i am back this video is going to be me trying to convince you if you have never made a wig before to try it it is going to show you how to switch it up in less than 30 minutes each of this week took me less than 30 minutes just switch it up fast 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 this is an option all you need is any coily springy type of hair for this first hair the first week we will be using spring coil by darling so any coily springy hair extension in short even the straight ones the straight ones are more tricky but any coily one will give you this and also you need a hair net and your latch hook and a head to place this on obviously so this is quite easy to make i will be showing you in slow motion for people who do not know how to crochet make sure you pass through at least three of these holes so that your hair extension will be secured then you open your latch hook latch onto the hair if you do not close it properly it will not pull through so close it well and pull it through just pass your hook under the net pass through the loop latch onto the hair and pull it through ensuring that your latch hook is locked securely locked before you pull it through that's all very easy very easy also remember because we are going to be unraveling this hair and because it is coily hair you want to space it out unless you want a very very big wig if you do not plan to have a very big hair of head head of hair you need to space it out just the way i am doing here i just keep on placing the hair extensions giving enough space so that when i unravel it each of the coil will have a space to breathe if you notice i am also putting each strand in the middle of the previous level under it so it's like a brick pattern so that the hair will be covered i have used half of the hair extension at this point half of one pack this is half of one pack so obviously one pack is not going to be enough i ended up using one and half so that was one we keep on going very very easy the more you do it the easier and faster you're going to become at this you do not need any special skill if you have never made a wig before this is an encouragement because this hair is easy and you have a cute looking hairstyle at the end you can go for whatever type of vibe you want that is going to of course influence the type of hair that you use so front side i know i want like a fringe so obviously i will not be using the whole length just to save the hair because i knew i was going to chop off about half of it i just cut the hair extensions i used closest to my eyes into two so they are already short and then i will proceed to layer the longer ones on top of them because those ones i might end up not cutting it up to half of the length so i just did that but when i was done with one pack i needed to be sure of how much extra hair i needed so i went ahead and started unraveling the coils this hair has four different parts sectioned together like four smaller sections intercoiled together intercoiled together it has four sections coiled together so i unraveled each of them into four smaller sections and it became obvious where i had space i needed to add more hair so i proceeded to do that once I felt as if I was okay with the bulk, like the quantity of hair, I stopped. So remember like when people see a wig like this and see that white space, they just believe the hair is not full enough, do not be deceived. 
it is full enough just because the wig head is white doesn't mean your scalp is white so i play around with this i swear to god i don't know the kind of vibe that hair gave me but let's do the second one this second one i will be using passion twist this is the hair that remained from my crochet um passion twist hair this is the jumbo size so half of it i have half of the jumbo size left the big size and half of it is the one pack of regular size this is the pack of the regular size so one pack of the regular size i needed a little bit extra hair at the end so one pack was not enough for me because of the size of my big head if your head is smaller you can possibly get away with one pack if you like fuller hair as you will see you will see the output i'll get at the end of the video with one so you will be able to tell if you need more than one pack most times you need more than one pack but if you have remnants of crochet hair you should try this wig so also when i made that other passion twist with this hair this whole pack like a pack of this passion twist gave me just 14 of those crochet hairs 14 of those crochet hairs i used for the passion twist like each passion twist took two at the end i had just 14. for that hairstyle i needed almost 60. so you can see how less of hair how affordable economical and just this hair is way it needs just a fraction of the hair you need for that one again for the fringe section i decided to use half i cut the hair into two i took this one off and because i wanted it to be like exactly at the middle i cut the hair and placed them there so the middle one is exactly at the middle of my forehead and then the two on the other side then i will go ahead i will go ahead and put the brick format type of whatever on top in between them up up before adding the longer hair so short one in the middle at my face see i am layering more short ones just the ones that are coming to my face then i can proceed to add longer hairs over it i was really reluctant to use more than one hair but i needed to so i just grabbed some of those passion twists i actually used just two strands of those passion twists and unraveled the passion twist then crocheted it i just slice off the length that i need and crocheted it to the hair and then i unraveled it so guys i can actually make a whole new hairstyle from that passion twist that i have already used twice especially because the frizziness is the is what makes it look old and the frizziness is going to be useful in this wig so it would just be like me reproposing the wig and it will actually be fine but i needed a fresh hair i wasn't sure of how it would be but at the end of the day i liked the ombre effect of this different color at the back so before i add more hair again i go ahead to unravel the hair if you are not sure and you're using the hair you need to unravel it is better you do so halfway because if your hair becomes too full it is annoying to start pulling this thing off because after you have unraveled it it is not going to pass easily through those holes on the net and you might end up ripping your your net or just wasting the braiding hair by having to cut it off if you do not mind you can enjoy yourself but if you stop just before you finish and unravel the hair it is always best whenever you're doing any diy to add little by little and add little like if you're taking off take off little little instead of going overboard and having to reverse the whole process it can be very annoying for someone who is creative to like redo what you've done so just take your time and add little at a time or take off little at a time whenever you are trying something if you need to cut your bangs do not go in and just chop it into no reduce check 
reduce check reduce check and you will become a happy creative person i promise you you're going to annoy yourself so i just added more hair to where i needed and obviously when i finished i just figured that i still actually need hair on this head you can stop here and become discouraged don't be trim off the front and play around with the hair until you have it exactly how you want it be patient do not toss this hair away thinking it is ruined no be patient i was unraveling more sections at the back because i needed extra bulk and huh, oh my god is this gorgeous oh my god like this hair is catching fire go out and slay like go into the world and distract everybody that is the name of this hairstyle i wish i wasn't wearing a red top so that the hair can pop more but all this redness is taking away the glory all the hairstyles shown here will be linked in the description bar and pinned in the comment section thank you so much for watching bye babe